Hi everyone, my name is Raghav and I run the YouTube channel Shutter Authority and today we'll be looking at creating slit scan VFX. So we're going to be doing this in Adobe After Effects. The effect itself is quite complex if you were to make this from scratch but thankfully there's a plugin which makes it a lot easier to make an effect like this. So go ahead and download the plugin from AE Scripts. The plugin is called Slit Scan. It's a name your own price plugin so you can pay anything you want and download it. Okay, let's look at recreating this shot with the seesaw. I have the footage here, so I'm going to drag it into this box and that makes a new comp. So firstly, you might notice that it is a high frame rate shot. So that is one of the important things about making effects like these. So you want your footage to have a lot of frames. So shoot either at a high frame rate or if you're shooting on a smartphone, you can shoot it in slow motion, which does the same thing. Another requirement is that you shoot it on a tripod. Okay, the next thing what you're going to do is to select your layer and go into effects and presets and look for slit scan and double click it to apply the effect. You switch to copy paste and change this to horizontal. And now if I press play, it should start doing it. This could take a bit of time. Make sure not to change this from full to anything else because that is going to mean that you need different settings here. Essentially what's happening is it is starting the scan here but we want it to move from a different point. So, so if we look at our example here, the scan begins around here where the seesaw ends. So we're gonna do the same here. So I moved it to about here and to be able to see where you're starting so you, you want to be on the first frame and then move the slider and now if I press play it's going to start right there so we're gonna let this calculate for a few minutes and see how it's doing okay you might notice that the stretching is a little bit too slow and long so we're gonna increase the delay to about five Okay, this is going quite nicely, but I think it's a little bit too slow. We shot it at 240 frames a second. So I'm going to go into the composition settings and change this to 24. Now it should actually play in real time and also calculate faster. Next, what we want to do is select the layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. On the bottom copy, you want to delete the effect. So that fills the gap on the other side. What we want to have happen is that the other half of the video starts to move to the right as the scan begins. So what we'll do is go to the first frame, right click, time and freeze frame. And we turn it on and it fills the gap. So the next step is to press P and create a new keyframe for position. And now we'll shut the layer off and we'll see at what point the scan meets the end of the screen. Okay. Now it completed at frame 73. So now what we're going to do is move this anchor point to the exact spot on the line where the scan begins. So create a keyframe there and go to frame 73 and move the X position until the anchor point lines up with the edge of the frame. You can hold down control if you want to control this precisely. So now what that did is the video basically split into two pieces and then it starts to stretch. So for this example, I did basically the same thing, but I did it twice. But since this is happening on both sides, I did the effect on one side and then rendered that out as a video, brought that back in as footage and then did the exact same thing but on the other side. So for the second effect, what you could do is just go and switch to backwards and that just reverses the direction. Here's another example where the same thing is happening but it's happening in the vertical axis. So this is the shot. I'm gonna make a new composition and again, I change this from 120 FPS to 24. So now it should be playing in real time. That's the footage and then we're gonna apply slit scan on it. We switch to copy paste and in this case, I'm gonna leave it at vertical. So if we press play, you can see that it is starting from the top and going downwards, but we want it to go backwards. So we switch to backwards and if we press play, it's starting from the base and going upwards. Next, what we do is change the point to about here and now if we press play, starting to go upwards. 
And if you find that this is a little bit too fast and stretched out, you can increase the delay value. I'm gonna go with four and see how it works. That is a little bit slower. Here, I think I went even slower. So I had a higher delay value. So let's go with six. Notice how this also makes it smoother. I'm gonna show you how this would have looked if you were working with footage that wasn't slow motion. So here's the same shot, but I've converted the footage to be 24 frames a second. Not only is the comp 24 FPS, the footage itself is 24 FPS. So it's as if it wasn't shot in slow motion. So now if I press play, you'll see that it's a lot more jagged and it doesn't look nice. So one thing you could do in case you don't have a slow motion camera is to actually slow the video down, right click on the layer, go to time stretch and add a value of about 400. So this is going to be four times slower. The thing is, it doesn't have so many frames. So what we can do is press F4 and turn on frame blending. And now it automatically interpolates and adds frames in between. And this should make it look a lot smoother. So this does a really good job at slowing down footage and adding interpolated frames. So you could go ahead and render this out as a video and bring that in and use that as the footage for the slit scan effect. Another interesting thing you could do with slit scans is with the time displacement effect. So here I have the same shot with the kids spinning around and I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer. I'm also going to add a new solid and on this I'm going to apply the gradient ramp effect. So now if we select the adjustment layer and add the effect time displacement and for the time displacement layer select the map and change this to effects and mask. So now let's preview it. So this is another very interesting effect you could do with slit scans without any third party plugins. Let's look at one more fun effect we could do with photos. So here is an image where you can see the slit scan effect is happening on both sides of the frame. So you basically do the same thing as we did with the other shots. Just one thing to note is you want to save this out as a video because for the slit scan effect to work, it needs video footage. So go ahead and download the plugin and have fun making some cool slit scan videos. All right guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the NVIDIA Studio YouTube channel and I hope to see you in a future video.